हेलो एवरी वन आई एम श्रेया दीक्षित सो आई हैव डन माई बैचलर्स इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन एंड आई हैव अ माइनर इन कंप्यूटर साइंस फ्राम पी एस यूनिवर्सिटी सो करेंटली आई एम वर्किंग एट एप्सलॉन एज अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर वेर आई डेवलप वेबसाइट्स एंड बेसिकली वर्क ऑन फुल स्टैक टेक्नोलॉजीज सो इफ यू आर सम वन हु इज विलिंग टू ट्रांसिट फ्राम ई सी मेजर टू कंप्यूटर साइंस मेजर वन मेजर थिंग विच यू वुड बी फोकसिंग ऑन इज यू नीड टू डू सम परस्यू सम कोर्सेज और टेक अप सम इलेक्टिव्स इन योर अंडर ग्रैड बेस्ड रिलेटेड टू कंप्यूटर साइंस सो दैट वुड रियली एड वैल्यू टू योर प्रोफाइल एंड डू इंटर्नशिप्स विच विच विल गेट एक्सपोजर टू द रियल वर्ल्ड टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड वेर यू गेट हैंड्स ऑन सो दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली हाईलाइट दैट इन योर रेज्यूम इफ यू आर ओके Uh, with having work experience and delaying your masters for a year or so then surely you could consider going to that option because you'll have the hands on and you'll be working in the real life uh, scenarios where there would be lot of data coming in and there would be production deployments so you'll actually know how a corporate life works so as i said before i had done the minors in computer science but i couldn't actually explore all the subjects of computer science um all the core subjects like data science and cloud computing machine learning so i wanted when i was working at my company there were lot of projects where they use these hands on technologies but i couldn't contribute to that much so i wanted to uh, take a deep dive into that and properly study the courses and go through the basics so that that was my inspiration to pursue computer science as my um, in my masters um so i had a uh, shortlisted few universities and applied to six of them and received admits from three uh, and i finalized to go to syracuse university and uh, i've received a scholarship of 25% on my tuition fees um so the process was really smooth with maven where they um managed all the application uh, filling procedures and they assisted in all of my doubts so that was great and whenever i had any small doubts regarding my finances or which college to shortlist and what are the pros and cons of this university so they were always there to help me out um and and also they guide us in what next to do so so say when we receive the admits what next when we receive the i20 what next so all those uh, it's better to know to have someone who have already experienced and who have um, filled uh, lots of applications uh, instead of uh, getting to know through internet and you know um exploring ourselves so today i'm here for my first mock interview and uh, it got over like 15 minutes ago uh, it was okayish uh, rachika sir uh, said me like what to do or how to approach the question and um, just to mention all the key points so I will make notes of those and be back for my mock interview for my second mock interview and uh, hopefully my visa gets approved <laughs>